Well, we are in for a real treat from what I've been told about this house. At 433 South Collingwood in the city of Syracuse, four bedroom, two bath home. Let me get, show you the neighborhood. Now what's interesting about this property is the following. It has been utilized for over 15 years as a single family home, but it is still characterized or cataloged in the tax rolls as a two family house. And when I go in here, I'm suspecting I'm gonna see a single family through and through, but I'm gonna be looking for the way marks of a two family house because this might be able to be converted back into it. We'll see. We'll go take a look around back and then we'll head in. The roof looks flat and okay, but as you can see from the cedar shake siding, it's gonna be need to be repainted. Uh, we got vinyl, vinyl siding here on this part. And as we go back here, we've got a one car garage and we've got a back porch. All right, let's go All right, ahead. We're gonna head through the side door. Oh, what do we got here? Ceramic tile, all right. Kitchen looks pretty good. What do we got for windows? Wood windows, all right, with aluminum storms. Yeah, okay, not bad. Is this wood or is this second? You know what that is. Can you hear from the sound of it? Yeah. It's a laminate floor. Full bath looks good. Full bath looks really good. Oh, isn't that an interesting tub? Look at that. And that's original, older with this house. It needs a little bit of paint touch up in here, but not bad. Okay, the laminate flooring extends through this room into a small living room. This is not a very large living room. Ceramic tile right here continues from the front door all the way to the kitchen. The carpeting is stained. It's worn, needs to be replaced. I'm sure there's hardwood floors underneath here. Typically with this age of a home, you're gonna find that. Okay, small bedroom. What do we got here? Is this a closet or does this go up to the attic? Goes up to the attic. Let's go up here real quick, see what we got. See, there's that second furnace. There's two furnaces in this house. And it looks pretty nice too, actually. That's the only remnant so far that I can see of it being a uh, two-family house. And let me show you the, the roof from up here, if you can see that. I know there's some, there's some snow on it, but it's, I would say that the roof is 10 plus years old. Yeah. Yeah, before you start thinking that, oh, maybe they needed two furnaces to heat up here. No, that doesn't happen. Carpeting throughout needs to be replaced. Small bedroom, heading towards medium size, but small. So we've got one, two, three. Medium size bedroom with its own full bath. This is unusual. Usually you don't see it laid out like that. This is interesting. It's going to need paint around all the windows. Okay, so you got four bedrooms, two full baths. All right, and let's head down cellar. All right, so you got your typical older block walls down here. You got a space heater. Okay, you got a hot water tank that looks there's a little bit of corrosion down there, but it could work. Remember, it's about $750 installed to put in a, a, new, a new hot water tank. And this furnace looks old. If it doesn't work, it's look, you're looking at about a $2,500 to $3,500 bill for that, okay? So we got a little room here, nothing really to remark about. Got your washer and dryer hookups down here. And a little room here. Circuit breakers, that's good. It looks like we've got some uh, updating to the electrical. That's very good. Okay, I'll give you my final thoughts in just a second. All right, so, you know, there's gonna be some things that need to be fixed up on this. The exterior, 
some things on the interior, but it's all, you know, touch up. But if you wanted to do it right, you'd want to go through and spend about five to $10,000 on all new vinyl windows. So I am going to give it a thumbs up, but just barely on this one. At the current asking price of $40,000, I think it's a good deal, but I don't think it's like a super great outstanding deal. I, you know, let's form a line at the house. Okay. So what I am going to give it a thumbs up to get a bid on this, give us a call 695-6434. Thanks for watching number one, another one of our videos. Have an awesome day.